Hey folks, welcome to the channel. Today is hardscaping day. I'm gonna be talking about how to build a raised patio today. If your yard is like most people's backyards, it's not nice and flat, and so you're going to have to make a space to put in a patio. A lot of the yards we work in look like that. There's hills in them. In this case, it falls off steeply here. Oftentimes, we either end up building a retaining wall to hold back a bank so that we get a nice level spot. In this case, we're going to end up building a wall around the outside perimeter to bring up the patio to get a level space. We're having one step come off of, off of here down to the patio. Now, you could put like two or three steps down to get down to the height that it is over in that corner, but then your patio would be much too low over here. Or I could do one step down like we planned and I could bring in a bunch of dirt and build this up. That's kind of silly too, because then my yard would get really steep. So we're going to go around the outside perimeter uh, with a retaining wall block and build it up so that I can elevate that patio and get a nice level spot that way. So that's what makes sense here. Stay tuned for this project and we'll show you how we build that. Okay, first step, you're gonna have to get an orange paint can. It has to be orange. It can't be white, yellow, or pink. It's gotta be orange, that's just the way it works. First step, I'm gonna paint out the size of patio that I want. This one is, I already have it marked out, but I like to do this because I can, uh, I can keep changing stuff until I get a mark that I like, as you can see. Man, I'm like, not this line, and if you're really bad at it, you can get enough of lines given that you don't have a clue which one means it what anyways. But if you're good, you can get it in two or three tries. So once I have my wall marked out, I need to figure out how far do I need to dig down and how many courses of block I'm going to need. Figure that out. This is uh, my laser transit. It just, it's a spinning laser that shoots out a straight beam, so it's perfectly level. And this target catches that beam and tells me when I'm level to a certain height. Boom. So what I do, I know I'm working off of this porch. So I'm gonna set my laser to this right here. That's the height of the porch. So, just to give you an illustration, I know all the way out here now, that's porch height. So it doesn't matter where I hold this stick, it's gonna show me the height of the porch. And I want to have one step coming down here. I know it's a six inch step. So I'm set right here, drop down six inches. That'll give me the top of the step and then down another six inches to the top of the patio. So 12 inches down from the top of here will tell me what I want for patio height out here. 12 inches down. Now, if I want to move down, I have to move my target up 12 inches. Move my target up 12 inches and that's gonna move my patio height down. Boom, so there's patio height. It's probably gonna look pretty good up here. Not bad at all. That's, if it was that way the whole way across, I wouldn't need to build a wall, I could grade that out. But down here, I'd be filling in a lot of dirt. So, here's what I'm gonna do. Down to the grade here is 20 inches. I know I have a six inch block with a two inch cap. So if I go three courses of block, that's 18 plus two inches of cap, that's 20 inches. And I'm at 21 here. And I want to bury some of that block below grade. So that means I'm going to have to go four courses of block. So six times four is 24, 25, 26. That would give me room for four courses of block, two inches of cap. So 24 inches down from the patio hike is going to get me to the bottom of the bottom course of block. That's not gonna figure for any stone to pack in. So let's go there. There's 12, there's 24. I wanna go down, that's why I'm moving up. 25, 26. Okay, there is 26, that's bottom of the block. Now I need to go down even farther because I need room for six inches of base which for a base that uh, we compact in. Oh, I'll probably compact in five inches of 2A. It's a limestone with uh, fines in it. And that'll leave me an inch 
to screed a nice setting bed. I'll show you that material when I get there. So that means I need to dig down another six inches. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's how far I have to dig. Now, I know that if I put in six inches of stone and I put in four quarters of block and two inches of cap, I'm gonna be exactly at the paver hike that I want. So you have to work your way backwards. I start at the top and I drop and I drop and I drop. I figure in paver hike, I figure in the height of the blocks and the base, and now I know how deep I need to dig. And then if it's a small area, you, it can be dug by hand, but I would personally not even consider that. Rent a machine or have a friend that has a machine or hire t Tussie to dig it. Digging in that stuff with a shovel, not fun. These are crucial to a hardscape project. You're gonna have to have a laser and a transit unless you're doing a small pad in front of a door where you can use a level or something. This would be very challenging with the level. Uh, these are expensive pieces of equipment, so probably if you're doing a project in your backyard, I would look into renting. These can be rented at equipment rentals. So that's your, probably your best bet to getting one of those. All right, let's dig. Okay, so now I have the excavation for the footer, for the wall dug, the whole way over there. This inside area is going to be patio area. So, before I pull my machine out of here, I'm going to make sure that this is deep enough in here so that the whole patio area can set on six inches of base as well. So I come back to here, I set it on here, I have one step down to the top of the step and then another step down to the top of the paver. So six times two, 12 inches down. So 12 inches up. That's patio height. That's what I want the top of the pavers to be. Pavers are two inches thick and I need an inch of setting bed. So that's three inches. And then I want six inches of base. So that's nine inches. So from the top of pavers, to excavation, nine inches down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's how far I have to dig down in the center area here for the patio. I wonder how well that meshes into here. That should be close because this is six inches and this is six inches. So yeah, and we came down 12 inches there. It's gonna look the same. So this is gonna be patio hiked as well. If this would have been a little higher or lower, I would have just sloped it up or down. It's, I can tell it wouldn't have been an upgrade change difference that you would have needed a step. Let's see how far I have to dig down here. This is the lowest area. I bet I'll have to dig out anything. Nope, don't need to dig out anything there. Still don't need to dig out anything. Okay, now I need to dig stuff. But that's excavation height. I figured I wasn't gonna have to dig much out at all. I might scrape that sod out anyways, just because I don't like the sod. That's, I don't know, organic matter that could decay and cause sedlage? Hardly. The farther up I come here, the more I'm gonna have to dig out because the grade comes up. The wall will actually be able to stop about right here. Yeah, that's patio height and that's sod height, so the wall will be able to stop about here and it'll run into grade. All right, let's dig all this out. <laughs> 